Alright, I am live. What is up? Metal Douche Mike here from YouTube. Just waiting in on a friend. And we begin shortly. Oh, these are my drumsticks I got at a concert. Oh, okay. oh, I never no, see my, I never see my icon be that big, be that small. Sorry, I got dogs in the background. Oh, it's fine. You know, technical difficulties. You know, my first time doing it. So, what is um, up? Um, it's still wet, mom. So sorry, I went to go and check the, check this um bed thing on the line. It's still a little bit wet. Oh, okay. oh. So what's up, man? Not, not much. Was on, I'm, just uh, checking the, I'm just checking my phone to see if the stream is doing okay. So, uh, zero viewers, but I don't know. We'll get viewers. We'll oh, get. okay. Okay, let me uh, let me see if I can. I might post about it. Sure. Because I have some movies lined up in my collection. So, that's what I want to talk about. 
There we go. Let's see. No. These are good movies to talk about. Let's see this. Trying this new pinger thing on my. Oh, these are definitely movies I want to talk about. Okay, YouTube promotion. Okay, pingers. Yes. 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 Oh. Sorry. I'm just Where's getting back. Yeah, talk to the chat. I'm just grabbing some movies. That's fine. I'm just, I'm just trying to post it everywhere. Sure. Post it on Discord, Instagram, um, Facebook, just everywhere. And there's some movies I don't have, but I have seen. Uh, okay. Yeah, these are in the order I have them. So... I gotta use the restroom real quick, guys, so I'll be right back. All right. All righty, there's that one. Okay, let's see what the chat looks like. Metal Douche Mike is the only one in here. Hopefully, we get more people up in here. Facebook. Uh, okay, let's get this to okay. groups. Your groups already. Be right there. All right, just po I'm now posting it on um Facebook on all the Facebook groups I'm in. Yep, I'll be right there, guys. I'm trying to grab some water. There's really I don't know if there's anybody, but here's the hoping. I've got this before. I didn't prepare. Hey, sorry guys. What is up? Had to grab, had this bathroom, had to grab some water. So. Uh, <sighs> what did I just post it at? Oh, Morbid Atrocity. And I don't know about here. Metal Mania. I'm good with Metal Mania. Oh, these guys are awesome. Hopefully we get some people up in here now that I posted it to the good old Facebook groups that I'm in. Sure thing. The more the merrier. Yep. The more yeah, the merrier we get people up in here. You want to turn your camera on or? Uh... Uh, sorry, <laughs> but um, I would. But why is my box so small? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Should be a way of doing the layout of the stream, at least. I've had more time to know about this layout than about this. There we go. That's much better. There we go. Sorry, guys. No, I'm wanting this. All right. So yeah, but I don't see anybody. I don't know how many people are watching on your end because normally I would see it right next to the. Live so far, live. I have one. So far, I have one viewer. Good to know. Who's the one viewer? I think my buddy. I think one of my close friends. I know said he might join in to watch. So whoever you are, I know who you are. I'm not going to say your name, but I know who you are. Yeah, usually. Here's the cool thing. I, I also stream on Twitch. Which, by the way, y'all can go and check. Check out oh. my Twitch. It's you can check out my Twitch, Damaged Incorporated, all one word. I'm nice. going to be streaming tomorrow. Nice. Oh, check my Twitch out, guys. Mike Hayes19 on Twitch. I couldn't I think of a name, so I just I hope, to see, you with it. I hope <laughs> to see you there. I'm doing yeah. um what am I doing? Oh yes, I'm doing commentating for a race. Yeah. Just share me the link. <laughs> We'll try to share, but I don't think I can have access to comments as a guest. But yeah. I'm used to it at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll learn it as I go along. <laughs> yeah, you'll learn the site as we go along. Okay, what is the top? We're talking about movies, right? Yes. Let's talk about movies. movies. Good movies and bad movies and movies that just should never exist. So I'm going to start off 
with three movies. I have a collection here. We'll go back and forth. So I'm going to start off with these three movies I have in my hand. These are DVDs. Could be DVD, could be Blu-ray, could be VHS. God, I haven't seen those in a while. <laughs> Damn, that's that's a long time. That's my, that's my time right there. Yeah. <laughs> Back in my time, VHS, VHS is worth a thing. Yeah, I'm just going to share this also to people I know. So. Yeah, good. To, that's a good thing. Sure. I'm trying to see if I can find. Sure. Let's wait for Ryan to get back to the camera. No, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I think I know where they are now. Oh, I know where they're at now. Oh, I know where they're at. Oh, I know where my movies are at now. Oh, I know. These are my audio books. Dang it! Oh, boy. I got so hyped over nothing. <laughs> Ah, I always get hyper. That's why I'm on medication. <laughs> no. God dang it, where did I put the at? Oh, uh, shoot. I'd have to look out in my freaking... Oh, God damn it. Where could I have put the at? Shoot. I already got... Well, Ryan, so I'm going to kick it off with some movies I have. Has anybody ever heard of Pokemon? What movie? I'm going to show it to you guys. The first three Pokemon movies on these. Oh, yeah. So, let's discuss all three of them. Let's discuss the first one. Pokemon, the first movie. And my remark for this movie... How can one little Pokemon be so little, yet so damaging, yet so innocent? <laughs> yeah, it's... A fuzzy little rat. Oh, yes. You no, too. No, I, have you. I, personally, you. I personally love... I personally loved uh, 2000. That was a personal favorite of mine growing up as a kid. Yeah, let's discuss the first movie. We'll discuss 2000 next. The first movie. Basically, after the series ended, the first movie came out. And holy crap, the first movie was fantastic. You have Mewtwo... And robot, well, what is it, a robot suit? <laughs> yeah. And it's hard to explain without having it, like, physically on. But then Pokemon 2000. Holy crap. Continue. I don't know where that clicky noise is coming from. I don't know. But yeah, Pokemon 2000. Holy crap. That movie is fantastic. The only thing I don't like, the main villain is a collector. I'm thinking you could have gave him a better villain title. <laughs> yeah. But yes, what Oh, you wait, 2000. Yeah, I was like... I don't know about you, but I've always considered... Luigi as part of no no Lugia as part of the original 151. <laughs> Why did I say Luigi? He was never in Pokemon, although they're both related. Yeah, based on company. But I meant I met Lugia. I always yeah. consider him a part of the original 151, making it 152. Yes. And then you have Pokemon Three, the movie. Yeah. Forgot what it's that was. Uh, Gyarados, right? Did it have the unknown, the unknown Pokemon yes. in that one? Yes. Yeah, that was. I think that was that was past. I was probably not worried about that one. I just and then I have the next set of movies. My collection here. I have three DVDs. I'll let Ryan talk about three movies, and I'll come back and we'll go back and forth. The next Pokemon movies I have is Pokemon Heroes, the movie. Yeah. 
Eh. Oh, three movies. Okay, three movies that I love. Uh, we're talking around that time period of the 90s and stuff. Three specific movies that come to mind that I... Whew, three that, that were, were around that time. You know, the mid-90s to the early 2000s. Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. Godzilla versus Destroya. And Godzilla... 2000. Nice. I was getting, I think those were the reasons, the movies that I was genuinely becoming a fan of Godzilla movies and the whole Heisei saga is to me the perfect, the best saga of all the Godzillas. <laughs> better than Millennium, better than Show, which back in the day God, that's that's a story. Guys, That's a story I, for another time. Maybe we can talk about that later in the, the program. You, but uh, I think that those three, and Godzilla 2000 was the start of the Millennium Era. I just think that there's movies in the Millennium Era from Godzilla that are hits, but then the rest are just misses. Yeah. So what got me interested in Disney live action movies for? Oh, Pirates. Pirates of the Caribbean. The first one, the second one, which has the Kraken in it, you know, it's... Oh, that's okay. Pirates of the Caribbean, I think that's just what it was, the first one. Was it on... I can't remember what it was. The Curse of the Black Pearl. That's Curse of the Black Pearl. That's number number two is Dead Man's Tide or something like that? Dead Man's Chest. And then number three is At World's End. And then my review for the movie, if you love pirates, that's your movie. But back to Pokemon. The Pokemon movies I have. Pokemon Here is the movie. Pokemon Forever, which has uh, Celebi, I think. Yeah. Pokemon Destiny and Deoxys, which you have Rayquaza in it. Which is a badass legendary Pokemon. The quiz is good. Then you have Jirachi Wishmaker. Possibly the most pathetic legendary Pokemon ever. All you do is make a wish with them. That's it. <laughs> and then if we're talking yeah, I think, I think Pokemon movies in between... Well, that, what was the third one in that collection? The one that had the unknowns in it? I think in between that one and Pokemon Detective Pikachu, I stopped caring about. Yes. Now, if you if you want to talk movies that were received well but had terrible debut trailers, <laughs> let's talk about the debacle of the original teaser trailer. What did they screw up with Sonic? They fucked up his design! And then they realized, oh, fuck, uh, yeah, sorry, we're fixing it. And then I redid another trailer, and he looked, okay, he looks at least faithful to, you know, the video games. But I'm thinking that first thing of Sonic, it looked like he went through, through, what? Look, it looked like Sonic smoked a bunch of crack. That's what it looked like. <laughs> And it's like, huh? Meow. <laughs> but the movie was good. I don't think they could have picked anyone better to play as Dr. Eggman. Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. This is Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey's back to his comedy ways. Yes. Aside from with the teaser trailer, aside from the bad Sonic design, Jim Carrey in the teaser was the best thing about the teaser. Yes. And of course, they made fun of Mario once soon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's going to be. Woo. And speaking of Mario, about terrible movies, we got to say the Mario Bros. movie. I could think of. I could think of several that are worse. <laughs> For one, Peach looks like a strip. Um, hooker. Where is Bowser? <laughs> think about it. Do you really think they would let a giant, a big 
giant humanoid walking lizard. If, 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 if they did that, I guarantee you he'd look like Godzilla. And that would have been like, yeah, no. Yeah, that's a lawsuit waiting to happen. <laughs> and then, I, I believe to, Toho and Nintendo are from Japan, I believe. Oh, we got one like. Cool. Let's, we got nobody in there. Thanks for thanks for liking our this live stream. Yeah. Um, movies. Um, what did I have in the list? Oh yeah, bad movies. Well, another. There bad is movie. one particular movie that I cannot stand to this day, even after oh, watching it. You want to know what that movie is? Yes. Sausage Party. Mm, you could care less. An adult that, yeah. animated movie that to me just looks like this is probably worse than the Michael Bay Transformers movies. Like, it makes the Michael Bay Transformers movies look like they're the best thing that's ever been made in cinema. Like, and I get it's animated, and you've got people on there like Seth Rogen was on there, Edward Norton, who was in The Incredible Hulk. Like, you're, you. The movie was just a piece of shit. Yeah. I so, cannot stand it. Plus, well, there was no plot. It's just a bunch of food. It was a, the plot, it's, the plot it's of that basically, movie was sorry. the food were then trying to rebel against humans from eating them. It's a stupid ass plot. <laughs> it's worse than Veggie Tales. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's worse. It's just so terrible. It's terrible. Not to mention, not to mention the next film I'm gonna talk about, Avatar: The Last Airbender, the live action version. Yeah, good, good choice at ruining childhood, Nickelodeon. Instead of Ang, you named him Ong, and they messed everyone's characters up. Sokka is supposed to be funny. He wasn't funny in the movie. And they made Zuko more of a dick than usual. Every, every live action Resident Evil movie. <laughs> except for the first. The first was okay. Yes. Oh boy, I was going to say the Star Wars reboot. So the what? <sighs> oh, don't even get me. Started on that crap. Okay. The first one, Seven, The Force Awakens. Great. The other two are shit. They're well, you know why? Well, like, that is why I'm not a Skywalker. Big Star Wars. I am not a big Star Wars fan because I'm eight and nine. They're garbage. Because and number nine, nine no way, is basically from cinema. Number nine is basically, oh, you guys love legends? Here, let's give you Dark Empire storyline. It doesn't work. <laughs> they bring back Palpatine to make him the big villain at the end of nine. I'm like, that's just, just Dark Empire all over again. Only this is a more horrible version of the comic book. <laughs> yeah, because everybody hated Last Jedi, and especially they hated Solo. Oh, I they like were Last Jedi. Scrambling to figure out, they get J.J. Abrams back. The original plans for Last Jedi, Grand Admiral Thrawn was supposed to apparently rumored to be in this film as the main. But after body. the the disappointment, I couldn't. I would understand why they think they changed plans and just got J.J. back. Yes, and they basically what they did was you take two movies. And mesh them, and you combine them, and you put elements of those. 
into a two and a half hour thing. It's four hours crammed into two and a half hours. Yes. How do you feel about how they treated Luke Skywalker in this film? <laughs> he was right about that. He just like he was so right about it. And we only got to see Yoda for a little bit. I'm like, if there's oh, Yoda, where's that? that? Everything he said after all of that, and he was just like, yeah, this was just terrible. Now, Force Awakens, that was really good. Yeah, that was a good, that was a really, really good and Star Wars movie. And surprisingly, the one after it, Rogue One, was really good also. That was yeah. a good one. So you, they were getting some some traction. But And then The Last Jedi happened. Then solo has that momentum. Then solo has it went to solo shit. Yes. Then and, and solo you go, you go even worse with the rise of Skywalker. Or the last Remember. Skywalker. Yeah, it was it was the rise of Skywalker. Complete yes. another shit. And before Rise well, of Skywalker, kind of, it's kind of rising back up with the Mandalorian. So it, which, oh. is, which is great. That show so far, the two seasons and, are great. And guess what? The big bad villain's gonna be for the next three couple series. Grand Admiral Thrawn! Yay! Someone from Legends that actually everyone cares about. <laughs> but my question is. Why couldn't they just bring him back in the films and do the Thrawn trilogy like they originally wanted to do? I, I think the whole thing about that, and they were just doing the reason they're doing for this is money, fan service, fan yeah. service, and all that stuff. For you know, we're sorry about the Last Jedi and the Rise of Skywalker. We're sorry about that. The, obviously, they're going up through the rise. You know, the Mandalorian is great. You know, they're you're doing great and stuff like that. And we're getting a spinoff, Ahsoka, which is gonna. And then we get a, we're getting an Ahsoka Tano series. We're getting an Obi Wan series. And then I think right? we're getting, so we're getting what a is it? Squadron series, Rangers, or something like that. You know, it, it's like, literally, yeah, it's they're fan servicing the those that were like, yeah, we're sorry about and, that. And we're getting also a, a short Boba Fett TV series about him and the criminal underworld. I'm like, yes! <laughs> that is awesome. I am so glad that he's back and all that. And stuff. I'm so glad that Dave Filoni has full control of the Star Wars universe, because it's someone who knows Star Wars. <laughs> And not only that, I think Luke was actually ha Mark Hamill. They just deep faked his face to be more CGI. like younger. They I mean, Mark is still in great shape. Don't get me wrong. After all these years, he's still in great shape. I just think they they deep faked his face and stuff like that, make him look a little younger and stuff. You know, because you got to go back to what he looked like back in the day. Um. So. Okay, I'll, I want to say this. Favorite uh, movie, trilogy, or series? It's between Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. I think there's, there's several for me that I think that are in contention for that. The top spot for me. Obviously, I mentioned the God, the Heisei Godzilla era. That's definitely up there. Um, in terms of, if there was a Star Wars one up there, up it, it, everyone's gonna probably include the original trilogy, obviously, because New Hope, Empire Strikes Bad, you know, they're fantastic. And you know, Return of the Jedi is great and all that, but it it, it that's the original trilogy is definitely got to be up there. Um. What was he going to call there? Uh, shoot. Um, one of the movie series that I liked a lot. Uh -oh. Shoot. Ooh, something just popped in my head. The, the Christian Bale Batman trilogy films. Yeah. That's got to be that's got to be up. That's got to be up there. Uh the the, I, I, well, I, I love Batman. I've always grown up grown up watching Batman. But if I'm going to pick something from Batman, <laughs> the animated series. Nice. I mean, that's the end-all, be-all. I miss Batman the animated series. series. 
Kevin I, Conroy as Batman, Mark Hamill as Joker. I mean, Mark Hamill is a dual actor. He can be Joker. Harley Quinn is my favorite. And then he can end up being, you know, freaking Luke Skywalker. I mean, come I'm, on. I'm sorry. I'm one of those Harley Quinn fanboys. I like Harley Quinn. <laughs> I'm more of a Joker fan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, tried to do a bad Mark Hamill impression, Mark Hamill Joker impression, but we can't all be like Mark Hamill. Joker. I'm more, I'm more into Marvel, so I grew up as it be watching all the Spider-Man TV series. I could care oh, less. If we're, talking the Marvel, I, if we're talking Marvel anime series, I'm thinking the one that comes up to that comes to mind for me, the X-Men animated series. I mean, come on. I grew up with that. The theme song. It's a classic for me. I had to think of a, one more or something like that. Um, oh, shoot. Oh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. The, the first season, I believe. The original, not the anything else. The original. So I mentioned Godzilla, the Heisei Godzilla series. I mentioned the Star Wars original trilogy. The um, I would the Batman animated series. I mentioned the X Men animated series. And I mentioned Yu Gi Oh the first season, the original season, the one that only matters, nothing else. All right, for me, my top five. This is going to be top ten for me. I'm pushing the button. So we're at number 10 for movie series, or just movies in general. Number 10 is Last Jedi. <laughs> it made my top 10. You kidding? No. <laughs> number 9 is the Joker film. Yep. Yep. Oh, Joaquin. Is it yes. Joaquin? Joaquin Phoenix's Joker film. Yeah, he did a good Joker film, but nobody can compare to Mark. This Hamill. film is in my top ten. This is number seven. Uh, Ooh, Sonic, nice. No, this is number eight. Yes, number eight. Number five. It's a comedy film. It's Happy Gil. No, no, wait. Number seven. It's Happy Gilmore by Adam Sandler. Number six is Billy Madison. Love that movie. Um, number five would have to be um, The Phantom Menace. Uh oh. Oh. Looks like Ryan had to go, guys. That's a shame. I'm back. Oh, he, it was just a. Oh, what are you doing? Oh. Shoot. Tactical. You there? Oh, no. Yes. Tactical difficulties. I'm. Yeah, I figure. I figure. God damn it. Okay, apparently my audio was muted.
Get Mr. Right. Oh, I'm here. I'm here. Don't know here. Is it working now? There we go. Okay. My screw. Okay, there we go. That's screen stuff. Okay, we're no more technical difficulties. We're back up at least. Yeah. Screw technical all because, an alarm, all because an alarm went off. But yes, where were we Sorry. on that? I forget. We were, you were on <laughs> what was it, number six or seven? I was on number five. Oh wow! I I, I said here, so I needed. What was? I forgot what number six was. Briefly, briefly, you tell me what number, number six, six was, so we can move on to number five. Number six was Johnny Depp's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Okay, number five now. Number five was The Phantom Menace. Ooh, episode one. I, I Darth Maul is my all-time favorite. Although I say to the to the to the sham the joke. People say, oh, Jar Jar Binks is a Sith. I don't trust him with a lightsaber for my life. <laughs> yeah, it is <laughs> what it is. He's a goof. He's a klutz. Number four would have to be the Bumblebee movie. Okay, that's very interesting. Number three, 1980s Transformers, the movie. Oh, the 80s Transformers movie. The only yeah. good one. The only great... I, I, I'll clarify. The only great one. Number two is a Robin Williams film. Flubber. Oh, Flubber. <laughs> I grew up with that movie. Same. And number one is Spider-Man 2. The original Spider-Man 2 film. Here. With Alfred Molina, which the new Spider-Man movie, Alfred Molina is returning, as you know who. They're doing the multiverse films now. Yeah, Tobey so, Maguire. I, I want to see that. And it's also planned that after that, Alfred Molina is signed to do three more Spider-Man films. So you who? can guess what villain he's playing as. Mr. Doc Hawk. Oh, which nice. which I think is Spider-Man's greatest foe. Out of Venom and everyone's Doc Ock is his greatest foe. No one has come close to killing Spider-Man like Mr. Otto Octavius. Because he knows that he knows who Spider-Man is, so he's like Plus the favorite universe I grew up with is the ultimate universe. That is the best Spider-Man comic universe. I don't care what anyone else says. The originals are good, but the Ultimate Universe is just multiverse, and it's fantastic. Yeah. And honorable mentions is the Harry Potter series. Yeah, you re yeah you start gr you grow up with the films, you know you. I I kind of get that, you know. Well, I'll say this: I grew up with both Little Mermaid movies and Cinderella and all those classic Disney films on VHS. I had those on VHS tape, so I can say I grew up with those. But I just, the 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 most current Disney film I watch is this right here, guys. And, oh, boy. Yeah. and guess what? We're gonna talk about the live action move on. First off. No Mushu. I am sad. <laughs> I think because it was go. I thought I noticed that it was going in a more more serious direction because mm -hmm. I was like, if you included Mushu in there, the review would have been like, eh. I don't think Mushu would have fit in a serious environment. No. 
Yeah, again, that was just like you you know that wouldn't work out, you know. No. And let's talk about how Steven who let's talk about how they ruined the live action Transformers films. Boom, boom, <laughs> boom, explosive of explosions. Kitties, it's shit. Okay, there, the first, there you go. The first two films were good. Oh, give them oh, that. The only, the only good one among them is the first one. Yeah. Two is kind of stretching it. It's starting to get a little bit. Revenge you know, of the Fallen. Stupid, but it's not. It's not. Revenge, too stupid. Revenge of the it's Fallen like, was pretty I, stupid. I, I, would, I would say, I would say it's a movie where you can get around, hang out with friends, and drink. Drink to drink to it. Let's roast the freaking movie or something. Let's pop in Revenge of the Fallen. It's <laughs> oh, kind of like it's kind of like Batman and Robin. You know, it's is that the one where they had the horrible version of Bane in it? And yeah, Bane. Yeah, that's like that's kind of it's kind of fun dog. It's kind of fun dog shit. You know, you get. Like you know, you just roast a movie or something like that. That's what it is. It's and then everything else, you know, it just, or, it just went to or they completely it's, how, it's how with the current Venom film, we got the correct version of Venom, whereas Spider Man three, let's not talk about that version. The one thing they did good was the overarch the whole trilogy was about Peter trying to find the who is this fucking Christ? This is it better? Yeah, you're fine. Nope. Jesus again. Of course, it's goddamn alarm. Oh boy. We'll just wait here for Ryan to get back. And it's having. Uh, alarm issues. Apparently, it's fine. There you go. Oh, myself. Okay, there we go. There we go. There you go. He's back in black. <laughs> <laughs> well, dark, dark gray, but still. But um, yeah. Freaking where were we? Oh yes, everything with Transformers, it, 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 it's it's the epitome of dog shit. And Stand then the next title, Jeremy Johns, <laughs> Dark of Moon. It's like you basically pulled a Pink Floyd. Well, yeah, Transformers, Transformers next movie, Dark of the Moon. You just basically copied off of Dark Side of the Moon. If you think about it, <laughs> and. What, Sam has a new girlfriend, Bumblebee bumps his head in the apartment? Well, uh, I believe what, uh, it was, I think it was at the time, you know, stuff was going on with Megan Fox. Yeah, and you have Shockwave, which looked pretty badass. I will give them credit. They made Shockwave look pretty cool, but he didn't talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. he didn't pull the whole movie. It was, it was just, you know... He was he, there. He, there was nothing, even though he was a cool design. The Transformers looked all yeah. Yeah. real. You, what you really boiled down to it, the only reason they were doing those was, you know, basically. Then you, know, you had the next. Basically. Then you had the next one, which they had Galvatron in it. Which, oh my God, they fucked up. There, pardon my profanity, guys. But they yeah, said, yeah, 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 you, you, you done fucked up. The only, the only good thing about that movie was that the Dinobots were actually like, cool looking. Yes. Then we have The Last Night. Oh, don't get me started on that. <laughs> Quintessa Son. And. What the fuck is that, bitch? <laughs> yes. Glad that Megatron came back, and I'm glad Frank Welker, after several movies, got to finally voice his Megatron, finally. Yes. And... Talk him. How many movies now? 
poor. Yes. Why and, he poor? And the, and they. Megatron. And wait, wait, they made the evil version of Optimus, which they shouldn't have. It wasn't the right time. It wasn't the right time. I will say it again. It wasn't the right time. They messed up. But the, the, the payoff of all of that is we finally got to hear Bumblebee speak. Yes. That could be the one exception that I can give yeah. by being evil. Was that would be the reason that it the was Bumblebee great. movie was a breath of fresh air because it gave us the original Transformer designs in live action for once. Yes. And we got Thank fucking God. We got to see pre we got to see Cybertron during the war with more Autobots and Decepticons on it. We got to see Soundwave in his original form. Oh my god. Yes. And then I wonder where the second one's gonna leave off. I'm wondering if they can continue to do the more of the classic designs. Like, if, I would love to see that. If they don't, if they don't, and they give us Camaro version of Bumblebee, gonna be like, what the heck? <laughs> Why? And, and then I was I was reading an article online. Some Harry Potter fans want the wants the cursed child to be a film. I'm like, no, no, no. It doesn't need to be. It it's a play. It it's its own thing. It doesn't need to be. Not every sequel or book needs to be a movie. Oh, Correct. Right. There's so many movies that are like that. Um. Let's see, X Men Origins Wolverine. Eight. Let's see, Logan. I was mostly sad when Logan was to be Hugh Jackman's final film. Final film as Wolverine. That made me a little hey, bit sad because I grew up. The one thing with the one thing they fucked up in Wolverine Origins, he gave us the wrong version of Deadpool. And Ryan Reynolds was in it too, sadly. They corrected it at least in the the actual Deadpool movie. Oh my god, the actual Deadpool movie. If it wasn't for Ryan Reynolds doing that short or something like that, I was like, thank fucking god. And Ryan Reynolds just fits perfectly. That that's it's it was a perfect fit. I don't think they could have casted anyone better to play Deadpool. I think yeah, I think he's 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 the he is Deadpool, just like Hugh Jackman is Wolverine. I mean, it's just like you can't think of anyone else that could be Wolverine. I think if they convinced Hugh to come back and you know with a lot buttload of a shitload of money, oh thanks, my god, that's gonna that would make thanks to Sony and Marvel for that. No, no, no. Uh, X Men was owned by Fox, who were just purchased by Marvel. Yeah. Disney. They got purchased by Disney, which are now under the same umbrella as yeah. Marvel. So Marvel essentially got back their rights to use X Men and Wolverine, X Men and the Fantastic Four, meaning they can incorporate Fant the Fantastic Four and the X Men into the MCU now. Okay. now. I'm just praying to God, crawl, fingers crossed, that Hugh Jackman will be Wolverine. Let, I mean, okay. if it was Let, that bad, you know, you you got to do it for that. So that would be a big ass paycheck. Oh, uh, someone said a comment and they deleted it, but someone said rank all. Rank all the um. Someone did the comment, but someone said rank all the adventure stones. Oh boy! Oh Jesus! If we're just talking the ones that are titled Avengers, I'm gonna go from worst to best, but they're all freaking great. Okay, so how many is there? There's four. Number well, four, the first Avengers. Nothing bad about it. It's great. Age of Ultron is number three. Endgame number two. 
and Infinity War. No, Infinity War is number two, and Endgame is number one. Okay, here's my top five. Number five, we have Infinity War. Reason being, they dumbed, they dulled down Thanos a lot. Because in the comics, he was more deadly. Or he was more destructive in the comics compared to... Well, they can only do so much. Yes. And They had a big budget, but for Christ's sakes, Marvel was owned, is owned by Disney at that point. You can't do what you did in the comics. So yeah. you got you to gotta tone it down a little bit. Number four is Captain... It's Civil War. Cap America versus uh, Civil War is number four. Of course, you have Spider Man joining in that one. But correct. Yeah. Number three is Age of Ultron. Number two is the debut film. And number one is Endgame. Exactly. It Everybody is saying it's number one. It, 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 there's no reason Endgame isn't going to be number one. It's The movie itself is Although, an amalgamation of everything that happened. This has to be my the funniest version of Thor I have ever seen. You get fat, drunk Thor, which fat is Thor, hilarious. Fat, fat, fat Thor! Now, if we're talking DC, the only good DC film to come out in recent years, well, there's Suicide Squad. Eh. I watched it. It was okay, but eh. I don't know. Aquaman was really good. Shazam? Shazam's got to be up there. Yep. Um, the Snyder Cut. Mm hmm. That's, that, that would, I think that would have to be number one. Hmm. Yeah. So we're going to be going live. We're just going to be doing an hour stream. So we're 52 minutes in. So that's all I wanted to do. So we'll continue chatting. Once we reach an hour, we'll end the stream. So what other movies? Okay. Um. Well, let's see. DC-wise, I think to myself, yeah, the Snyder Cut is fantastic. And also, we can also talk about video games. It deserved games. being one whole four-hour movie. Yes. It deserved being one four-hour movie. It How about Mortal Kombat? Multiple parts. The Mortal Kombat movies compared to the video games. Oh. The first Mortal Kombat movie, great. The original. The original is great. Yes. I don't know how I feel about the new one, though. What was the ones where they were in Egypt? What was the name of those films? It was with the well, Rock. That was the first. One. It might have been Annihilation. The one, the sequel, the sequel to the original first. Yeah, that might have been it. Ooh. I can't remember. Indiana Jones ranking all the Indiana Jones films that just popped into my head. Oh God, I can't I'd rank those. That's just that's nothing. That's not for me. No. No. Okay. Free. Someone in the chat just deleted another comment. They said free will and then they deleted it. Free will movies. It's just a whale. <laughs> that's all I yeah, that, 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 that's, that's just, yeah, just no. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Jack. Get with us. Get on our level. <laughs> yeah. We're old here. Ranking. Rank some of the classic Disney films. Now, that's a good challenge from the 90s. I'm thinking, ooh, okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, Fucking hell. The Lion, the Lion King, the original, the animated, is the better of the, the two versions of Lo the Lion King. Aladdin. Hands down. Aladdin with Robin Williams as a genie. Aladdin has got to be up there. Be up there. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. That's Little definitely Mer up there. Little Mermaid. Yeah, just for fun. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would have I would have Tarzan up there. Yeah. Oh, did you know that Phil Collins played drums in the Tarzan film? Phil Collins. Well, was the whole there. soundtrack was done by him. Yes. <laughs> uh, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I I do like that one. Yeah. yeah. Atlantis: The Lost Empire. No, that's past my time. Oh, that's my time. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. I kind of watched that, but I was like, eh, it's okay. Yes. Ooh, okay, ranking all the SpongeBob movies. Well, there's only one, and that's the original SpongeBob movie. There's no other movies. The others are terrible. Only one <laughs> SpongeBob movie. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, geez, SpongeBob's still going on, but the TV series, no. The original run was good. The original first four seasons were good up until the movie came out. Then, that's when I stopped watching. Yeah, it, I, I, it, it was already past my time at that point. Well, I will say Pat, Patrick Starr was my favorite character in the show. Someone that dumb. So brilliant of a mind. <laughs> yeah. And then someone said, rank all the Simpsons episodes. Oh, oh God! Hell no! <laughs> oh, too many to count. Too many. We have two viewers. What is up? Who else is viewing? Oh, one of them left. <laughs> I don't see anyone else. Just oh. your comment. Okay. They keep deleting them. I don't know why. Don't delete them. Don't delete your comments, guys. Leave them in the chat. Yeah, I'm now watching these comments if I even see them. Yes. Okay, well, someone's... Simpsons... Oh, no, that's too many to count. Although the Simpsons movie was funny. Yeah. Um, Futurama film. I don't think there was ever a Futurama movie. I don't think there was. Nope. No, nope, nope. there wasn't. Family Guy? Yeah. If you count the Family Guy Star Wars thing, that that was terrible to begin with. I like them. I like them. Yeah. Someone's... Uh, you're watching WWE... Mm, oh, SmackDown's on. Eh. I'll, I'll turn it Oh, off. it didn't move the... Um, the Hell in a Cell match between Rey Mysterio and Roman Reigns. Yes. At the night. <laughs> I think I might be getting, might be going. So I, I appreciate being. Yeah, we we, we, I, we we have three minutes left. So. Yeah, I appreciate. I I gotta get going anyway. But I appreciate you bringing me on yeah. here and all that stuff. Right. So I'm gonna end the stream too, guys. Subscribe to Ryan's channel. Subscribe to my channel, subscribe to Metal Ben, subscribe to the whole metal community because we are fucking metal and we will never fucking die. Peace out, guys. Peace out.